Black Girl Nerds. Better shake your booties for Black Girl Nerds. This meeting is being recorded. Okay, recorded. Well, I thank you guys for your time. I like that we all wore black. You know, is it is it all black? Is it is a branding thing? Did we get it? I got the email. I think we're you already sure? on the same page. You we're already are. on the same page. This is like about to be lit. Oh, I appreciate. You look like the lead singer of our group. Oh shoot, shoot! You know, uh, y'all don't want me to sing anything. All these computer screens will start cracking, and That's nobody good. wants. Okay. It. All right, yeah, we don't want that. We'll save it for well, later. I, for sure. I thank you guys for your time. I love shows like this because there's just layers. I feel like they kind of all blend us all into one category, but now we have this, this group of millennials who are just out here trying to make it. And we get it from a different perspective because not every millennial is just balling out like social media will have you believe. Aaron, beginning with you. So now we're moving into season two, two, uh, two seasons is always better than one. What has been, uh, your approach to this second season and what did you learn from the first season that you're carrying into this as an, as an actor, as a performer? Wow. That's a beautiful question. Thank you so much for asking it. Um, well, we shoot this show extremely fast. Um, so none of us knew the first time around what it was going to look like, what it was going to be, what the, you know what I'm saying? So, to be able to see it back and going into season two, me and I believe everybody else included were able to take it to a new level in all categories, um, to be a better actor, to be funnier, to find more chemistry with this person or with that person. And I think, <clears throat> excuse me, I think that in this season, all of that shows on camera. Um, I, think, um, I think we've reached new heights um, we've welcomed a new cast member. Um, and I think uh, I'm excited for the world to see um, how far we've all come, how far we've all grown, and just the relationship, the writing. I mean, the show from top to bottom. Um, yeah, I can't wait. I, I think we uh, definitely, definitely have improved in all areas. It, for sure. I, I, I love that there are these bridges before. They used to be that it was either you were on a network and now, and that's it. And now we have all these layers to see so much more black talent, so much, many more opportunities to open the doors for more people. Philip, for you, now we um, learn, we're gonna learn more about Travis this season. What is, what has the growth been like for him? And what does this, what does season two look like for him? You know, um, Travis has experienced the uh, grandest form of betrayal uh, at very least in, in his mind. Um, and, you know, he's, he's had some time to, to think about it and to, you know, to really come to his own conclusions about what's, what's going on. Um, and, you know, I think he's, he's come out, he's come out of it, um, a, a more nose to the ground kind of, kind of guy, you know, it's like, okay, hey, cool. You know what? I'm going to, I'm going to focus on, I'm going to focus on myself. I'm going to focus on, you know, working hard. Um, I'm going to try not to blow up the apartment, um, even though I know I could totally do that uh, if I got my hands on the right stuff. Um, but yeah, no, he's he's sort of mirrored, uh, I guess, a lot of people's people's journeys in uh, uh, kind of, you know, self-realization and, and knowing your worth um, and knowing how you want to be treated and how you would like, um, you know, your loved ones to be treated by the people that that, uh, that you care about, but also um, realizing that, you know, even though people sometimes make mistakes, um, yeah, we can, we can always, you know, we can, we can come back from a lot of stuff and, and, and move on uh, in, a, in a positive light. For sure. I, I, that's one of the things I particularly like about the show that even in the midst of the comedy, there are a lot of lessons that a lot of people in your age range and younger mm -hmm. can relate to, to learn from, you know, especially about worth, about creativity and desire. And just sometimes it's a struggle to get to that dream and just staying on the path of trying to get to that dream, no matter what the obstacles are. So I like that it's in a tangible way that, you know, I'm older than you guys and I can say it as much as I want to someone your age and but until they experience it themselves in a new way it, it's mm. a beautiful thing and the growth and the journey is beautiful uh nathan over to you welcome 
you know, n- the new guy on the block, the new roommate. Is mm. it is it are are, are new roommates uh, a good thing, a bad thing? Are you going to bring havoc to these lives of these people? Are you going to be a good roommate and not drink up all the orange juice? What's what's <laughs> it going to be like for Derek this season? I think well for for me, I'm I'm that, I'm that roommate that's like. Hey, like I kind of like stay out the way when they have their problems and I try to come in when I feel like I can come in and kind of bring them all together. But um, I think Fitz is a cool roommate. I think he's this guy that just loves art and just music and, and you know, painting and all that stuff. And I just think that I'm just the, the guy that's just me. I'm just myself. And, you know, yeah. <laughs> he he brings be- a lot of stability to the room. Uh, yeah. I'll, I'll say that he, was, he was necessary. He was necessary. <laughs> Well, I mean, stability and what's Aaron over to you in, in what sense? Because he's an art guy, he's an art dealer. And, you know, artists can be temperamental, you know, because mm-hmm. that's a different type of creative compared to a content creator or a musician. It's a different type of temperament. So mm-hmm. is it a, in, in what sense does he bring that to the group? Well, besides the money, well, besides the rent. Well, that's, imp- that. first of all, that's the most important because we're barely paying it. Um, and what's different about his character is that he does a multitude of things. He's a painter, he's an artist, he's a singer, he's a dancer, he's a this, he's a that. So he's also an entrepreneur, but in so many different areas, you know what I mean? As opposed to Philip, who is a scientist. Me, who is a figure in an artist. Kiron, who is a <laughs> workout instructor. Top, uh, top, uh, Teresa's character, who is an actress. Uh, Nathan's character uh, in a multitude of different ways financially is able to add and his personality Mm. Philip now has backup Mm. Travis now has a guy you know what I mean I don't I think before we were picking on him a little bit and now (laughs) he has a guy and he's in a position of power this season that he didn't have before and maybe has never experienced so it's nice to see him being able to tell us, shut up, and we gotta listen because you almost moved out because we did that weird system. Sorry again, Philip, I didn't mean it. But okay. I, I had to write that out. I had to write that down. Figure it out is because I too I like that. I too am we'll a figure it out. out. Mm-hmm. You know, it's you got you gotta get it, you gotta That's make it what happen. life is. That's what life is. That's what life is. I think we're all figure it out as at, yeah. at some at some point or in some degree. If it wasn't named millennials, it could have been named that the figure it out is figure it out. Because that's all the millennial journey is about when you take a stab at following whatever your actual passion is as opposed to feeling like you have to fit in to whatever this box is they told you to be in and I think millennials are the first persons people with a brain that has access to freedom I I like that you know that I might have I would wear that on a shirt that might be some some merch for the show figure it out I want 30 percent Let's talk about it off camera. You let me know. Okay. Well, we'll 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 meet up about it. Work that out. Uh, Fill it back over to you. Uh, being a scientist and having that representation on mm-hmm. screen, and you know, it seemed it's always presented like it's this big, lofty, far away dream to mm-hmm. work in that lane, particularly for for black children. Uh, mm-hmm. How what's it been like for you to to bring to life a character like that who has that level of intelligence, but is still a relatable kind of guy? You know, he's not kind of pigeonholed into that one kind of an archetype of character like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've I feel like um, the writers did a really good job um, justifying it in that, that making him a YouTuber kind of makes it a lot more accessible because everybody knows what YouTube is. Um, and f- to sort of see somebody like Travis, as smart as Travis is. Um, monetizing his intelligence one um and also framing him as somebody who's you know willing to you know willing to teach people how to do certain things i think uh is is a really good thing especially for um for us because i'm i feel like him he and i have a, a kind of um i don't want to say like we're like the most most uh, intelligent person in the room kind of deal um maybe with uh, vocabulary because uh, I like to I like to mess with Aaron a lot um, <laughs> when it comes to that kind of thing pause super pause just in case I'm not even sure okay <laughs> okay um, but, <laughs> but no 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 it's 
yeah, I, I feel like it's really it's it's really good that he um, has this particular uh, this particular job just because it is something that you can you can go online right this second um, and and type in a science video and you'll get so so many so many different hits of people talking about so many different things um, from you know how lightning works or. Um, what happens if the sun disappears? Um, mm. It will actually survive for a little bit. Um, it won't immediately uh, in, in the planet. There's, a, there's someone on TikTok that I follow. It's a lady who lives in the North Pole and she makes videos about that, ironically, about how the sun mm. disappears for three, for three months. It's called the polar night. It's really, really good stuff, but that is a great point. Um, mm. It is in a tangible way to put intelligence because we have so many children out there, particularly black children who have these abilities. Mm -hmm. And sometimes they don't know what to do with them. You know, maybe mm -hmm. their parents can't put them in that STEM program because maybe it's too mm -hmm. expensive. And this gives them a way to kind of showcase those talents. So I thank you guys for that. That's really awesome. And lastly, Nathan, for you. So when you join a new cast, you know, this you're no stranger to performing. Like I said, if folks will be familiar with you from Snowfall for Detroit, when you join an ensemble cast and you have to join in the chemistry and what makes the machine go, what is a, what is something you do when you go to a new cast and want to make sure that you're gelling with them and, and matching the energy that they've already been portraying in one season and, you know, keeping it at the same level or more for season two? Well, usually I try to research people, <laughs> like go on like their Instagrams just to see the personalities and stuff like that. So for this, you know, like I've I've, I've already known I knew Aaron from like way back from the, we did a, a we went to the NAACP awards together. Um, me and Kieran we did social media videos together. So I kind of already was like, oh okay, he's you know I, I know them. And then just everybody else is just kind of just super nice and just welcoming and what is fun. It was like when I met the whole cast, it just felt like I just haven't seen my friends in a long time. And we're just like, hey, what's up, guys? It's, do the show, you know? So yeah, it was really, really cool and very comfortable. Well, I thank you guys. This show is a lot of fun. I love that you guys have another season and people get to see versions of themselves that they're not seeing other places. And I love a good laugh track comedy. You know, that's near and dear to my heart as a, you know, 70s, 70s baby. So I love that very, very much. Thank you guys for your time. Have a wonderful, wonderful season two. And you know, thank let's you. raise our glass to hopefully a season three. Hey, My thank you so much. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds.